So, this is our Thank building you. area. It's a little bit dark right now, but. That's oh, fine. Yeah. Roberto? <laughs> hey, Roberto. Drew. So, this is one of the units where we're going to have you. Um, if you wanted to do some testing, just take the customer's name off. Oh, cool. So do these have the um, the same type of computer that is being sold on the Kickstarter? Uh, no, so it's it's the computer. Uh, it's okay. a lot bigger. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But um, well, this one also has the light gun. Ah, okay. Yeah, that was going to be one of the questions. Was the light gun support mm -hmm. that everyone was really excited about? Yeah. So this, we uh, we're not too sure on on the specifics with that, but it would more than likely be something very similar to uh, what we do with our with our uh, current things. Which uh, I don't know if you ever done like a Wii, like the Wii support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so the same thing. It has very a little. Similar if if we did do something like that, yeah. or we could go another way. It's possible. You know, like we're we're actually really excited about it too. It's, it does. Uh, it tracks. Right now, it's basically being the mouse. So oh, that's cool. You know, things like that. So this has um, four inputs on the arcade sticks. Mm -hmm. It's got an input for the trackball. Mm -hmm. And then it's run, it also has an input for this remote. The remote's just for the display. The remote is for the TV specifically. Okay. This is a 40. So the 40-inch TV uh, comes with the remote. We actually, the way we have it set up, though, that you never really have to use the remote. So okay. It you just, can flick uh, a switch and it Yeah, it, it will auto turn on and turn off. So, for instance, there's a switch in the back. It's really simple. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, we try to make this as easy as possible. That So... Somebody who's buying it for their grandkids could figure it out, or somebody who is really tech savvy uh, can fidget with it and do whatever they want with it. So. Yeah. No, I'm just impressed that it has all these different inputs and yep. they don't. Yeah, you know, so one doesn't have to be the primary one. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can use all of them. Yep. That's a nice feature. Yeah. And so this person got, uh, for, uh, we call it Neo Geo, but you know, basically whatever. Rainbow buttons. Yeah, rainbow buttons. Yeah. And so you can get whatever you wanted to as well with that. Um, the light up buttons, they did get the spinner option as well. So what's this for, gun. like getting through games? Or? Uh, Tempest. A lot of people oh, love Tempest, gotcha. and that is the Tempest joystick. Primo Tempest. Uh, gotcha. You know, it's kind of neat though because um, I won't show it right there, but. So this one runs on Windows 7. That's another difference. This is Windows 7 compared to. Is there Windows what's 10. the big difference there? I know uh, I know they're different, but uh, yeah, it, I like think, as far um, as the actual experience, has mm -hmm. it changed at all? Licensing, like so we, oh, okay. we the the computer that we get has Windows 7 already pre-installed, so right. we got with the license on that, and gotcha. it's a little bit cheaper. So it's cheaper to get Windows mm -hmm. 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, Windows 10. The, so the way the way that works with the with the the re, uh, replay. Is if you're below three uh, three hundred and fifty uh, sorry thirty two giga uh, gigabytes um, the free it's free oh nice so Windows ten is free yeah for like tablets and things yeah. like that so it falls exactly. under that category yeah so nice. that's so that saves that you a lot of costs on the mm -hmm. software end yes yeah and um, that's Matt he's our hey. uh, engineer hi Matt Drew Programmer nice to meet you extraordinaire so um, I'd love to you know so. We were talking that this isn't the Dreamcade, but it'll yes. be the similar front end. Yes. So yeah. the uh, this part of it is going to be the same. Right. Pretty much. I saw it on uh, monitors, though. It seems like the resolution is going to be a, a little bit... Or does that just depend on your display? It, it depends, depends on the display. On the display. It yeah. actually adjusts based on your TV. Yeah. Some people are 4K, so, some are 1080p. Yeah, oh, there you go. Because I, I, the ones I saw on YouTube had the smaller menu here. So I yeah, see, you have the yeah. larger menu, then smaller. If you notice, the controls layout, of course, match more like the arcade, whereas you probably see in the video, it actually pops up the controller. Right, it shows a picture of an Xbox 360 controller. Yeah, yeah type depending of thing. Yeah, what controller, what image we have available. Yep. So mm -hmm. that and and different. same functionality that it will show you, like, mm -hmm. okay, this button's going to do that, this is going to do this, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Um, and of course, you can use the trackball. Uh, here is trackballs. The yeah. other ones, they don't have trackballs. Yeah. You can still use the joysticks. And yeah. Stuff. Right. And potentially, you could hook a trackball up to the Dreamcade if you had one. They make a little USB ones, right? You go to USB to. Yeah, I think. I think they still work. make like a trackball mouse that should plug mm. right in, and we've had Pe yeah. one or two people. Or the whole thing that kind of like, oh, I, you know, it'd be cool to have nice a trackball for centipede. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, or golf tee. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> could you walk? At, well, I don't know if right now or eventually. Could you walk me through like, okay, a customer gets this unit in the mail as mm -hmm. an HDMI cable, power cable. Mm -hmm. Can you walk me through the whole like how, what they would? They open the box, mm -hmm. they plug it to their TV, they buy it with the controller. Let's yeah. say they buy the one hundred thirty dollar one, uh -huh. right? 
and they get the controller. So the, pl the controller USB dongle is plugged in there. And then what do they have to do to get started playing? Uh, so one of the big, I would say one of the big first things is they just have to connect to the internet. Yeah, okay. so I guess the very first thing is you open the box, plug in yeah. the power cable, plug in your video cable, mm -hmm. and then the, the, the wireless controller dongle should already be in there if you purchased a controller with it. If you did your own, it'll either automatically work depending on if it, what type of controller, or there's a setup process that we can show you that when we get to the actual replay unit. Um, but yeah, after that, like Steve was saying, once you get it up there, you'll want to connect to the internet because a lot of these features run through the internet, so that's usually the first thing. And it'll pop up a message saying, I don't detect the internet, you need to set up your Wi-Fi. Right. So it runs off of that. And then after that, you can start playing games, you can start adding your own games, whatever you want. So how big a screens can they get? This is a 40? This is a 40, yeah. Okay, and then I saw you had a 32. Mm -hmm. yep. Those are just the main two that you sell? Uh, so we actually sell quite a few. Yeah, 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 because there's also a 29, which is basically the same as the 32, but a little narrower. That's specifically if you need the space, you can work on with that. Um, there's also the cocktail one that's behind you, and that's... Um, yeah, I saw this one. Also a four-player as well. It's not quite set up yet. But no, I know. It's missing some screws. <laughs> it's missing a, a monitor in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's also a cabaret, which is an upright, but it's a much smaller footprint, much narrower design. Um, and they all run the same front-end software, our custom front-end. Do you difference. have a name for that? No, really. We just call it the Dream Arcade's menu system. It's okay. Basically, our system. We, yeah, we haven't actually put names. We do like version numbers and things. But uh, we've actually gone through several different iterations. Um, and can you customize that? Like right now, it's red menus. Are going to be able to have some sort of customization in there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I know we had that on the Kickstarter. Yeah, you can be able to do that. We're going to set it up with a bunch ready to go. So you can use all those ones, and then we're also going to set up a tool to just make it easier for people to change yeah, sure colors and things. Somebody saw that, but uh, one of the things on our Kickstarter it says every ten thousand we get, we're going to have a new theme. On gotcha. There. And so, so that we're, means we're, we're up to sixteen mm -hmm, themes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Gotcha. So yeah, you ready for that? <laughs> yeah, we'll, <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's gonna, yeah, we, we have a lot of ideas, so it's going to. Um, yeah. we'll, we'll see where it goes from there, but. Uh, yeah, I think that'll be fun, and I think it'll be good because it'll just. Each person can kind of customize it how they want and make it their own, which is great. So this is just uh, like textured for a grip, and then this is just an extra little finger hole? Yeah, a little yeah. dimple. I gotcha. Just do that. Yeah. Um, Our hardcore Tempest fans, really. That's, <laughs> right. They're all about yeah. it. So. Yeah. And then you got a trackball game, like golf? You can use yeah, both the name this of that program, though, the one and that. Put together oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, you, you have here. options. Yeah. It's like an analog and a, a D-pad. Yeah, I don't remember. The, but, uh, yeah. so for some of them, it's really good. I could look it up. <laughs> Potential to change like shaders and things like that. As if it's in the emulator, they can. Is that how it yeah, works? Yeah, Matt, what about shaders and stuff? They, those are in the I&Is, and I think we just leave them at default. So if you wanted to tweak them, yeah. you can yeah. definitely do a lot of tweaking if you want to get into it. And then one yeah. of the nice things, too, is like we're going to do wizards, like some of the stretch goals for, for different wizards. Because it's all on iBase, it's easy for us to make a program to edit those for, you know, kind of novices. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I was saying that's a big deal because there's kind of a, um, a steep learning curve for a lot of this, mm -hmm. these emulators and things like that, yeah. and people are intimidated by it. And, th and there will be, you know, a, definitely a learning curve if you, you know, don't use the wizards or we, we ship it out and all the wizards are complete and then we need to ask those out as upgrades or something, you know. Sure. So, um, yeah, there could, there's certainly going to be some of that, and I think the idea is to do videos. But eventually, uh, and especially for the stuff people are going to want most, like reconfiguring the menu and adding new emulators, that stuff will all be there in the initial release. And then eventually everything will be able to be configured with the wizard. Nice. And how big is the hard drive going to be on that thing? It's only 32 gigabytes. OK. And, and how much does the front end take? Uh, our front end only takes two. OK. Yeah. So that's with, that's with everything on. Right, Matt? We're about a two right around there. And you lose a little bit, right? Just based on like a 32, you're only going to get 30 out of it to Probably, start? Probably, yeah. yeah. It just depends. That plus Windows and things, but it has USB. Right. You could put in a micro SD and yeah, expand on it. Yeah. And we're even planning on adding an SSD. So if you want to put in a, you know, a fast drive, you know, 512 or 256 yeah. SSD, uh, what else is that? N 
M, there's M2, 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 yeah, M.2, that's okay. Yeah, so that's pretty fast course. write speed, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty fast, yeah. Um, yeah, the nice thing though is most of the games you nice. want to add are very small. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's not until you get into like Nintendo 64, like, PlayStation. 64 yeah. is in the megabytes. Like, like yeah, Sega CD though is like 1.2 gigs per game. CD, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Once you get the CDs, it gets. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. it does sound like some people are going to want to. I like. I this is kind of thing just me, but some people are going to want to uh, install external CD-ROM drives. I mean, there's no reason they can't do that. It would still work, you know. You sure. Your disc and play that way. Yeah, it's a computer. Yeah, just exactly. recognize it. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a possibility. I don't think most people are going to want to do that, but. It's just you, it's an option. Yeah, and there's so many, you know, so many people are going to want to hack and configure. Sure. Yep. Is this also where you're going to be kind of doing all the fulfillment on the Dreamcade as well, or? No, the plan is to do all the fulfillment in uh, through Amazon. So, oh, okay. Yeah, so we've gotten talked to them already and gotten pricing, and um, you know, even if you order on the Dreamcade website, you'll still get fulfillment will be done through Amazon. Oh, cool. Yeah, and then that will probably, be, at least for the beginning, be our sole, besides us, the sole retail. Gotcha. And delivery is expected December? Yeah, yeah. So I can, people are like, December when? Or will it be shipped in December and in January? And we're like, yeah. we will do everything we can. Yeah. But yeah, we should know as it moves forward. And my, one of my concerns is like, you know, all these little um, uh, the unlock goals, the stretch goals. Yeah. Yeah. So it may could be that uh, maybe we have to ship it without some of the stretch goals, but deliver those later. Okay. And so as long as someone has an internet access, it should be fine. Gotcha. Yeah. So, gotcha. Yeah. So that yeah, our main thing is like, let's get the core features and all the stuff that people expect and get it working absolutely perfect. Sure. Uh, and that's what we're gonna that's what we're planning on doing. So. Gotcha. So the arcades here, the cabinets themselves are actually built in China. But the arcades uh, technically are 70% built in the U.S. because we do so much. So right. they qualify as made in U.S. Sta uh, status. So when we get them, they're basically an empty cabinet with the controls. Some of them have monitors. Some of them we put the monitors in. We do all the PCs here, all the wiring, um, all the QA, which is a big thing. Um, you know, these cabinets start at 2000, and if you completely want to... Um, uh, like completely wrap one, like you'd wrap a car. I mean, artwork, we can do artwork on the whole thing, a custom control panel, custom controls. Corporations sometimes will spend like five grand. So when they get it, they want it to work right. Right. So we're really big on, um, well, you can see how they're packaged, making sure that, that they don't get damaged. Sure, I see and that. And yeah. also on the QA. I don't know where, do you have a Kini QA list out? It's like a 60 point QA. There's one guy who builds it, three guys will do the testing. This one isn't finished. And so yeah, you have one guy build it, and then three guys will do the testing, and it's um, two pages even. So wow. yeah, so we do. We really are kind of big on that. Um, software. I mean, basically, we have some software stored other places. We need to keep it here. Every game that we have is licensed. So we got a few smaller companies that, um, like Digital Leisure, is actually uh, medium sized, but that we directly license through. Uh, but for the most part. Yeah, you know, because you're only yeah, selling a much smaller volume of big arcades than you with little arcades, we do licensing through distributors. Gotcha. So, yeah, like, um, uh, I don't know who they'd be. I have to look on some of these. Um, yeah, Empire. Dragon Slayer. Yeah. Yeah, the Dragon Slayer we do direct, right. explosive, and stuff like that. So we get, everyone who gets it basically gets a disc, and they get all the software in a big licensing oh, nice. pack. Yeah. What's your most popular game here? You better ask these guys. <laughs> yeah. Probably Qbert, honestly. We really? get a really? lot of Qbert. For an add-on pack. Yeah, yeah for add-ons. Yeah. Um, and, and we've noticed Shado. kind of, yeah, and we've noticed kind of a shift, too. I mean, a lot of, you know, like Pac-Man stuff come with it, so that's probably what Pac-Man or Pac-Man. Sure, they're already popular. getting it no matter yeah, what. Yeah, they're yeah. already getting yeah. those. Always. But we're noticing more of a shift to, like, a lot of people are more interested in, in, like, the Sonic and the fighting games. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, you know, kind of people grow up, and they're like, wait, these are the games I yeah. played as a kid. Like, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. Maybe I did go to an arcade, but I was, you know, little, and it wasn't. Mortal wasn't combat. such a big thing with yeah. combat, Street mm -hmm. Fighters especially. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's one of the things we do. I'll show you, we have a couple special edition arcades. Oh, we saw the break room. In there is kind of the bullpen. Uh, that's what I okay. call it. It's kind of open seating except for Matt, who's the engineer, and the programmers, uh, well, programmer. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so the cage is stored here. We're actually kind of low. We're basically getting ready for Christmas. And we will, by the time that Christmas comes, this whole thing will be packed, like to, yeah. literally to the gills. Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so this is basically where they all are stored. We also will go through, and I'm going to have it set up right now. I think 
Okay. Like move by like right now, right next to the beanbag chair, which is used in the videos sometimes. It's a, that's a set piece. Oh, nice. But um, yeah, yeah, uh, we'll go through and do. We'll buy like 200 computers at once. Nice. Get them all the same model, and then we'll image them all. And actually, when we image them all, everything has every title. And then we go through, and we have a custom program. It's a checklist what they bought, and then it deletes them. So it's easier to install all the games first, and then go back and Interesting. remove them. Yeah. Versus it's going Versus in and going in and man, yeah, yeah, doing them, yeah. Um, so this is one of our newer so ones. Player. Yeah, and this one is you know kind of made to look like your old uh, Frogger or Mario cabinet. Sure, a little more um, retro looking. Yeah, exactly, and it's um, uh, it, it just depends. Like we're going to be doing this um, for this. Uh, you know, we'll do so many of these and see how they go, and then maybe maybe we bring them on, or maybe we don't, or maybe we just do it during the holidays. So yeah, we do that. Nice. Um, Does that come with speakers as well on yeah, the speaker yeah. slides? Oh, nice. If you notice, the original Nintendo cabinet had one speaker hole. What side was it on the left? Oh, interesting. Either side, but yeah, so yeah. we had to do another one. But we tried to keep the dimensions as close to the original as we could. Right. Nice. You know, and the marquee lights up? Mm-hmm. Nice. All the marquees light up. In fact, they're all LED lit now. Oh, nice. Um, and then, uh, so we do a lot of printing. So this is just a big lot of storage and stuff. Nice, nice. Um, yeah. We can print our own stuff. Here's some for, what's, uh, this is a dental implant company. Oh, nice. Yeah, and this is actually a special paper. If I hold up to the sun, you might be able to see. It's a sun. Yeah, it's a backlit film. Oh, interesting. You have to put this down without scratching it. A lot of companies like to do that. They put it in their break room and then... Yeah, and it's real, it's not real uh, expensive, you know, just to do a marquee. Gotcha. So that's like the number one thing we do. And then we can... Oh, they buy that for the break room or do they buy it for the waiting room? Uh, yeah, it depends. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it's okay. yeah, okay. it's both, yeah. The, the yeah. nice thing is we do have a lot of controls so that if they do put it in like the break room, uh -huh. the, either the break room or even in the, the waiting room, they can't get to like the, the yeah, main the menu, right? There's like a kids you know, mode. Yeah, exactly. There's a password or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mode. yeah. yeah. And so. then it's, it is locked. Mm -hmm. um, the, unless someone requests it, our keys are all ke uh, keyed the same. Mm -hmm. Going all the way back to with over 10 years, like 12 years. So if someone writes us and like I lost my keys, which happens all the time. Yeah, we've got them. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, but occasionally um, it's somebody. Yeah, if they're doing a commercial thing, we do a bunch of stuff. Like we'll be under NDA, so we can't talk about like mm -hmm. like a famous basketball player mm -hmm. or you sure know, so, a celebrity. Or yeah, something. but we have done we've done projects for like a Microsoft Atari project and you know um, Coca Cola. Are you familiar with an iPad? No. So no. Uh, basically, what it, this is a hidden device. Oh, wait. All right, let's start over. Yeah. yeah. So what do we got here? So uh, this is the board that all the arcades use. It's a hid device, and uh, what it will do is it uh, registers as a keyboard, but it interfaces with the arcade and the controls. So if, for example, on a keyboard you hit multiple keys, yeah. you're going to get ghosting. Some of the keys won't register. Some of them, you know, a different key than you actually hit might come up. With this, you can hit all the buttons at once, and it's and it's really really responsive. Um, so if you're doing Street Fighter and you've got to do a combo move. Yeah, it's gonna pick that up. As a matter of fact, I mean that was one of the big things. Is some of the other solutions out there, it would sometimes. I swear I did the move right, and, and right. you wouldn't get it. And sometimes maybe you actually didn't do the move right. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> but we wanted to make sure it played really well. And we even went as far as we went out to YouTube. We found the world record for. Have you heard track track and field? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so, arcade game. Yeah, we found the world record for the most button clicks uh, of anyone in the world. The, the guy who can do more than anybody, and we. Um, made sure that if he used the device, it would pick up every click. So that was kind of our, you know, let's start with the world record. And then customers too, this will do, I think, how many inputs, Matt? It's like 33 max inputs. 33 inputs, and then customers can adjust, like really, I don't know how many customers do this, but One. they can, uh, yeah, <laughs> they can go in in the advanced mode of the software, and they can like um, adjust the debounce settings, what else? I mean, just a lot of really advanced stuff. You can make macros even. Yeah, macros, yeah. And so you can you can change all that stuff. A lot of it's all like the debounce settings, stuff like that, are already pretty much optimized. We did a lot of testing. Um, but, you know, if someone has a particular game or something or just heck, feels like doing it, they can. So, yeah, so they do this. And then this is kind of custom programmable, too, on the fly. It takes how long, Matt? Program to pre-program it. 
on the fly. On the fly, you don't even notice. It'd be like milliseconds. Oh, okay, well there you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't take a long. So you, it happens in the background. You don't even know. It probably it does it like ten times a day. Mm -hmm. So we give you an example. A game like Dragons. There, uh, we license to, uh, through them, but it's um, uh, the the game doesn't. You can't. It's space bar set up for for the um, sword, and you can't reprogram that. So instead of reprogramming the game, we reprogram the board every time you run it. And then when you exit it, it programs the board back to what it, uh, the default oh, is. Nice. Yeah, it makes it good for, you know, uh, adding PC titles and stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's also good for like people who don't know how to configure the controls and go back and mm. forth, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, between devices. Mm -hmm. And it will, it will too kind of have a, a mode like, oh, something's messed up, uh, you know, I better just restore the default, go back to the default. Right. So if it, reckon, if, it's, if it recognizes a problem or there's a button they can press in the menu to restore it back to the defaults. So yeah, a lot of stuff like that. Those are kind of the stuff like people call like, my kid messed something up. Okay, we can press this button, that sort of thing. Right. Um, and that's the advantage of being doing this for so long is we know all that kind of stuff. Are you um, surprised with how successful it's gone so far? No, um, you know, I mean, we've seen, a, you know, a lot of these other devices and how they do. Yeah. So, I mean, the main thing to be surprised, we've had a lot of trouble getting, um, you know, main street, mainstream sites to, to cover it. Right. So, like, last time we even got, we got Kotaku, and it was like, okay, well, there's one mainstream site. And one of the things was last time we ran it, we didn't have any uh, prototype available. And like we can't review it unless we see a prototype because we've been burned and you know cooler sure. cooler. So this time we had prototypes and a lot of them said, yeah, we can't review it unless we have a final product. <laughs> right. Exactly. So it's like, ah. right. it's not helping. Yeah. But it's nice. It's nice that there's alternative options. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That, that's definitely. We have definitely been seeing a lot. We've of sent out a lot, and and it seems like, like uh, ETA Prime. Mm -hmm. All the different the, uh, bloggers been and talking about have been the people, yeah, who are more really interested helpful. in covering it. Right. Right. Which is great, or else nobody would hear, would hear about it at all. Yeah, I mean, I, are you familiar with, like, what's your idea of how big the retro gaming community is? Uh, I mean, we, I mean, <laughs> it's, it, millions of people. I mean, it's a huge. And here's the thing is you got have, kind of have segments, right? So you have the people who are really into it and, you know, have that big collection in their basement or whatever. Yeah. And then you have people who are like, oh, you know, I just want, I, you know, I just want to play, download the simulator, play it on my PC. And then you have the people who are going to go into Best Buy mm -hmm. and they want to buy the NES, NES Classic. Of course, they can't find the NES Classic, but or SNES, <laughs> and, or, yeah, yeah. Th that's the and the, you know Walmart so, can't so it's a huge anymore. yeah <laughs> right. it's a huge oh, huge market. It's yeah. a, just a question of how simple can you make it right, and how much of the market can you cover. Uh, and we'll, we'll I'll get the final unit. We have like what one here, Matt, and we can show you what is, what what we the the what we're working on the molds to look like. There may be changes, um, so, but... We, like, it's kind of that you, rounded rectangle. More, more rounded, yeah. Okay. So this is basically just to give an idea, and it's, a, it's on a different box. The size will even be different and everything. We'll bring it in and show you. Okay, and um, then the inputs will be the same, though? Inputs, outputs? Yeah, we actually... The, the, this one has, I think, um, an input for a SATA drive, and we oh, want to cool. do a SSD. Right. And then um, we're hoping even... I mean, we want to have as many connections as possible. Um, so we may do this as micro. Um, we are planning or would like to do a uh, full-size um, SD card as well. Oh, nice. So the more options we give people, you know, the easier it is for them to add media to it. And right. on a device with 32 gigabytes, that's kind of important. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And that SD storage is so cheap now. Yeah, yeah. And people can, yeah. So that's that's really what we're doing. And in the, in the back is two USB or two USB 3.0. Um, you know, it may be possible to do a C. It really depends. I mean, it's an aggressive price point. Sure. And so we have to, you know, do what we can. And so that's kind of why a lot of people have, have been like, okay, well, you know, what, what exactly has come with that? I want it to come with this. Yeah. Um, but we can list, list the minimum that people will get. Sure. And then if anything else we can do, you know, like I don't want to tell people it's going to come with the USB C. Exactly. And then it will. And yeah. I, it's really, I don't know if it will or not. Yeah. So, um, You're going to try to push the envelope as much as you can, but that's obviously yeah, exactly. constrained by the price point. Once we do the, once we do the, you know, once we do the molds and get the, our, you know, the unit design and everything, yeah. that's a lot of the cost. And that's kind of the reason to do a Kickstarter and to offer the price for so cheap is it helps offset that cost. Yeah. It's a huge cost. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Do you have a target MSRP after the Kickstarter? Yeah, well, for a unit with an arcade, it's, a, it's on the website. What is it? Uh, is it... Um, 
one forty nine or something. So yeah, you without the controller. With the controller, with the controller. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then with without a controller, like one nineteen or something. Yeah. Is that right? Okay, probably. Yeah, yeah. basically you save so twenty. You get like twenty, you get 20 off. bucks or thirty bucks off on the by buying Good it ahead of time. Yeah, gotcha. uh, and and really, uh, yeah, it's for us. It was like we wanted to do really aggressive pricing because. Um, those people are kind of, you know, showing faith in us, yeah. and we wanted to reward that. So, like, I saw uh, some review today, and he's all, how can they, you know, sell that for $99, make a profit? Yeah. It's like, well, we're not really worried about the profit. You sure. Know, we're more, you know, of course we are worried about the profit, and there is profit on it, but, you know, things are, may come up that make it more expensive. So, sure. it, it could be that, but we did, but we've been doing this long enough that we know how to do cost estimation, we know what certain things are going to cost us, we right. pad a little in, and so that... That's kind of where we went with that. So yeah, that, it, it is, you also see that there's a 20 pin assessed report on this. Oh, nice. That would be really cool to have. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that. The 20 pin assessed report would allow you like hook a battery up to it or to um, do a, another VGA connection oh, or nice. controls or you know stuff we add on to. But uh, I can't say for sure if that 20 pin's gonna be there. Sure, again. sure, sure. Because yeah, there's, there, besides the cost of the pin, which is nothing, there's a cost of electronics to power it. Sure, yeah. sure. So yeah, so we're, yeah, I mean that's kind of, we certainly haven't tried to be coy, but we've tried to say, okay, here's the minimum you get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's try, let me check out the controls and maybe yeah. play some of the games that will probably be on it pre-installed. Well, I, or you don't know? I don't know. Okay. So I'm, I, you know, we, we, we were well along with Tox and Atari and those kind of broke down. Okay. So now we're kind of re-engaging with them. Sure. But I have no idea at this point what's going to happen. Sure. Uh, also, I was talking with another bunch of people, other people already, um, like four or five different uh, things like Exidy and um, uh, J uh, I think some of them are Japanese companies. I don't sure, even sure. know the names of, to be honest. But they, um, so we're kind of looking at, hey, maybe we can have add-on packs or a store. Sure. So we're looking at that kind of thing uh, as well. So now I've kind of gone back to those people and go, okay, well, what about if we did a, a bulk license buy instead? Sure. Um, so we actually, yeah. So we're talking to a bunch of different places, and gotcha. I really, I think the plan is to get as much as we can to get, uh, you know, normally we arcade games are what we license. And we'd like to get as many, um, also get as many of the different emulators in there as well with some of that. Sure. Um, is there a way to search the, the front end for a game? No, that's a no, good idea. Search yeah. right now. Okay. But the other option for that, there's a favorites. Gotcha. And that's what we imagine most people will do. Like, and how do you favorites. set a game as your favorite? Matt, I don't even remember. Okay. Okay. Go, <laughs> just find a random game. Yeah. And now okay. hold down the start button. Yeah. And that's it. Oh. Nice. Now exactly. you go, go back to now. Star. Yeah. Yep. You should have a favorites menu right there. Boom. Yeah. Where you can yeah, manually edit them through. A yeah. Yeah. If you do this, or I know this. You can go and then you can. Uh, I got you. Cancel the yeah. favorite. Yeah. So, yeah. so if I hit hold this down, they'll take me out of it. Gotcha. Yeah. So we want to be able to do that and let people add their own different, you know, categories and and all that's built in with exiting, uh, editing the XML files. Right. We want to make it as easy as possible. Sure. And sure. the nice thing too is once we get the base code to do, let's say we do the base code to skin it. Um, right. Th that code is basically just editing an XML file, so we'll be able to reuse a lot of that code for adding an emulator. Right. Because you're just you're doing the same thing with different files. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. So we'll be able to I, what I really like was when we just did that on the favorites. Mm -hmm. You it showed you like an example of what your options were to hit keys because I think that's often mm -hmm. yeah. you know like you have here I have like ten yeah, buttons so many to choose buttons, from yeah. which button does what. Yeah. And let's see now some of these may not be set, but I'm going to find one real quick. Arcade probably is set. So when you go in, it kind of shows you what button do does what. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And now you'll be able to remap all these at least uh, on. Oh, like here, fire one, fire two. Yeah, and you but you can kind of see it, they're kind of overlapping. Just need some work on our sure, end. Sure, sure. Um, but um, you'll at least be able to change all that to what you want on an em emulator by emulator basis. A menu. Yeah, but the other thing quick. too is uh, got a yeah. range test here. You, you know what? You go in the parking lot. <laughs> Sometimes though, we've been like in the other building. Yeah, and you, you got to realize yeah. the main thing walls. is walls. Yeah, yeah. same with Wi-Fi. We have been like, walls. wait a second, the controller, what's going on? And someone's in the other yeah, unit, and they're yeah. going, hey, how come my controller's not working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So they, and then gotcha. And, okay, so he's in the other. You're about like yeah. You can probably move farther, Matt. Probably maybe may go to the back of that room. Probably. Oh, see. <laughs> yeah, losing. the other thing is how charged is that controller? Yeah, these yeah. controllers may not be very charged. 
Yeah, and well, there you go. You and it's on it. the vice settings too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, I mean that's good. I mean this is a typical living room. You yeah, know, per se. Mm -hmm. So and, and we'll and to be honest, the um, eight bit dough doesn't have the best. Now they did get a new firmware, but yeah. a lot of people have trouble getting those. To no, I know. Actually, I like this one. It's one of my favorite ones in the game, sir. Yeah, these are my two go tos. Yeah, and we've talked to the people. People keep asking like, which controller is going to be? And the problem is, we've talked to like Game Search, Tron Smart. Oh, um, okay. It's, we've talked to like three different places, so I'm like, it will be. Oh, so it's not confirmed yet. Yeah, so it's not confirmed uh, because it's because I got the 130 came with that, the 160 came it's with one of, those, you know one of those. If we okay. do the game, sir, they're going to have to. We promised everyone it'd be an Xbox style controller, so it will uh, be swapped. Unless maybe we do it, ask everyone a pool and every, you know. Sure. Because it, it's kind of up to the community, right? Yeah. Because yeah, so so we have talked to them about a custom and. So I, what I'd like to do is can we play a game against each other and then I can ask you questions while we yeah, play? Yeah, yeah. Except if you play a game against each other and you're asking me questions, you're going to beat me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I'm not very good with any games, anyways. This is perfect because I uh, suck at all my games. Too. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny because we have a high score chart and I have like the high score of, like two games. Centipede. And yeah, and it's well, Centipede. Yeah, two. Of, one of them is uh, Star Wars, which I'm pretty good at. I'm not. I mean, I mean, I'm not good compared to people who post gotcha. online. But the other one is Centipede, and it's like everyone's just like sympathy won't play Centipede. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Score. Yeah. I don't even. I can't, still can't even see where I am. The D pad and then the. X button there, you should jump. And yeah, then, um, I have no idea where I am. You just died. You're the blue one. <laughs> okay, so I come back to there. That's yeah, me there. Yep. There we go. And it's just, yeah, ah, left and ah, right and it. jump. I'm gonna get this one. <laughs> are we playing against each other, or it's, it's I, think right. I think they are. Yeah, yes. I can hit you. But we can also level up by just you yeah, actually, finishing the levels. Yeah, you get a bonus if you actually work together. Oh, do you? Yes. Oh, okay. oh, if you, if you don't, tell yeah. You, if you don't kill yeah, each other, <laughs> but really, you both survive, then yeah. So I can even fly here. There we go. Oh, uh, so yeah, so um, it's left and right only. There's yeah, no left and right and jump yes, is actually the flat what I want to record, which is for posterity. Great. Yeah. It's, it's, it's oh, I got him. You got him. We, we need to see my. <laughs> was that you? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I oh, I thought I oh. hit you. I thought you. Yeah, see, play oh, player, player no bonus. bonus. Uh oh. Oh, see, I'm out of lives. What do I need to do now? Was this me? Yeah. I don't feel like it. Oh, there no, I'm player. Go. Yeah, because you. I'm out of lives. I'm out. I'm out of lives. Oh, is it you? Oh, yeah. I killed you. Wait, I'm just gonna fall in the lava here and just yeah, yeah you can reset the game. If um, I believe if Michael that presses game is start, start. start, um, you oh. can enter your name. But I think okay. yeah. So, that's so am I blue? Yeah. yeah, I must be. Yeah. <laughs> so so the so we were talking about the original Dream Cave. It was a little cumbersome, maybe a little over zealous as far as getting yeah. everything. Yeah, having too many products on there. Yeah. And we do still we'll kind of launch those other products. It's just, uh, you know, a lot of people really like them. And like I say, I have, I have, we have 50 of the little portable units like sitting here in our shop. Um, that are really, so we may just do for like people who want them, like do a limited edition thing. We're just going to see how popular they are. Right. Right, right, right. There was a lot of confusion too. It was like, which which product am I actually getting? Or, you know. Yeah, and mixing right. and matching. Because yeah, just the expectations weren't clear for the for the customer. Yeah, it was too difficult to. So speaking of like, you know, expectations or like you know requests from the customers. Mm -hmm. Uh, how do you decide, you know, like what emulator to put in or what, you know, what feature is the most wanted? Like, how do you actually survey or, you know, well, so if we have been, pick and choose, for know? the people who backed it the first time, we have been um, kind of doing a lot of talking with them. Oh, cool. Um, uh, through, either through the Kickstarter or some directly through mail. And then we get a lot of our customers who, you know, purchase arcades are going to want this too. Yeah. So a lot of that feedback, you know, what they want kind of ties in. Gotcha. And then there's also stuff like we knew a lot of people were going to want um, uh, Dreamcast. And we were just like, we just didn't feel comfortable saying it's going to support, you know, because it'd be two emulators. Ah, oh, I just died. <laughs> It would be two emulators, and you know, because and the emulators aren't real mature, and uh, I don't even know. I don't even remember if they were open source or not. So sure, we just sure. said, you know what, like. Uh, so it's a combination of what, 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 what yeah, what, yeah. what can we do, and then also well, what whatever people want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I imagine that this is just like a baby step for you. You know, maybe you, I know you started in 2002 in your garage. There's a whole story there. 2003, you've been primarily focused on arcades but now this is the next evolution which is like really 
you know, building out the front end and bringing it into more homes. Mm -hmm. Where do you see this, like, ultimately? Like, what is the kind of grand vision, like, five, ten years from now? Yeah, I mean, really, one of the things and one of the reasons to go with, with Windows 10, even though, you know, some people were like, oh, Windows 10, it's harder to program with, you got to deal with this, is it's really the flexibility. So we really kind of, we want it to be like something sitting on every TV, right? So, yeah. Yeah, this is on your TV, you can watch any of your movies, you can play your MP3s, you can, um, uh, what, you can play your games, you, if it's not powerful enough, you can stream your games, you know, basically be kind of one box, the okay, only box hard. you need to have. Because people keep, you know, trying to do that with the Roku, and, but it doesn't really address any, everything. And having yeah. Windows 10 on it makes it so it can, you know, the only thing I, I wouldn't want people to do is like their online banking or something. Sure, sure. <laughs> that might not be a good idea, but... Um, hey, can we quote uh, you on that? Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, see, am I even playing? No, yeah, you got to hit start. No, you did uh, one player. I think you have to reset oh, the game. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Gotcha. The old arcade, that someone did that. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, yep. yeah, so and to exit a game is just start select. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you hit start cool. select, it Let me, um, I'll just name. die. I think it's probably faster, right, if I just die? It doesn't matter. And then, you know, one thing oh, that, that people do, I mean, there's a lot of people reset. in the community who Thanks, have, reset. um... Yeah, reset. A lot of people in the community who, you know, I mean, we, I can't make this box without the dedication and all the free programming time that people have spent, you know, downloading ROMs and, and porting games and building emulators and research. You, Do you have to start? He has to hit start because he's playing oh, too. Uh, Otherwise, it thinks you just want one player. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So what do I do again? Start. Yeah, start, so start, this, yeah. that's the game by game thing. So I'll get started. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But this it one depends on what, like, like uh, yeah. Gauntlet, anyone, everyone hit their own start. Gotcha, gotcha. You're like yeah. a Simpsons arcade game yep. or something like that. Yeah, everyone hits their own start on that one. Gotcha. Too. Yeah. Okay, now we should be done. All right. All right, so yeah. now you can hit me again. So Roku box, things like that. Yeah, well, kind of just, yeah. And it does. there's really kind of one thing right to do all those different things and and there's a lot of people who are willing like people who do this stuff for emulation they're willing to get you know to volunteer their time it's for, incredible yeah for yeah. Uh, somebody else and so we really I mean people say you're taking advantage of the emulators we are but we're doing it in a responsible manner where like we're going to do a thing for Intellivision ColecoVision where on the unused portion of the screen will be the um, it'll be a bezel the yeah it'll be not a bezel but it'll be the number pad because those originally used a number pack. I know you're killing me. <laughs> I'm not trying to. Um, and, uh, and, there'll and be a number pack? Yeah, a number pad. So you remember oh, all right, the that's yeah. the controller. Yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and they'll also be for MAME, there'll be coin drops over here. Right, and, right, 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 um, right, right. Player start so buttons. Just like on your main menu, you mm -hmm. can see the controller. And but it'll gonna, actually light up when you press it. And we're, yeah, but we're going to release that code and back out. You know, oh, so nice. people can do their own. It'll be all version. open source. Yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, we're taking advantage of this, but we're also going to give back. And the idea would be that as as other people do and dedicate their time, we can make it available for people who don't know how to install the emulator. Right. Didn't, right. didn't we like some of the main games? We actually per, like made it better because okay. they they were. They just weren't not coded right or something. No, like the main like the the menu there is custom for mine. Yeah. That that oh, save nice. and exit yeah. and then save without exit and reset those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we added yeah. ourselves. And we're really in the oh, beginning of doing all that stuff. But yeah. yeah. And we've done stuff for the Project 64. It really had trouble with changing resolutions. Uh, and there'll be a built-in option to change resolutions and that is a you know open source pro, pro code. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and it will uh, everyone will everyone will get a you know at, we will release that uh, code out once we it's uh, stable. So um, yeah, so that's kind of and then so and it'll be a box that anyone can put right. You, that you can hack it if you're a geek, and if you're not. If you're not, then um, you know you can still use it. The uh, you know and, right. and new functionality will be added. You know I, I can't promise like that we'll never charge for upgrades or specific upgrades or charge for game add-on packs. Sure, sure. I, I would sure. actually like to be able to license as many people who want to license their games. You know at a reasonable yeah. price, I'll put them on the machine. You know, um, you know I, I'm not even that concerned about us making a profit with the you know the sale. As we are about making more games available, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, I think that's the whole thing with Netflix. I mean, if you look at their business model, you know, a lot of why they're successful is their library. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you know, I don't do Crackle because Crackle has like not many good 
shows I want to watch right. on there. And two, with Netflix, they have a way everyone can access it. It's on your TV, it's on your... So that's kind of accessibility is one of those things we really want to work, you know, make it accessible. Because right. we tell, you know, I can say, these are, are they caves? <laughs> I don't even know where I am. You're on the bottom. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and you're always the blue one. <laughs> I'm all, yeah. And you're always the blue one. <laughs> and the, um, yeah, sometimes I can't... <laughs> Trying to get that yeah. egg. Yeah, yeah. So there. So what you're saying? There's always. Yeah, I mean, the, like oh. right now, we feel com so confident with our caves. We'll sell one to like, you know, a, a dentist, or it's going to be out in the public. There's sure, some sure, at the sure. uh, at the Oakland um, Nilo dealer. Um, you know, anyone can use it. You don't need to know anything. And that's the same way we want to get to with here. You know, is where just anyone can feel comfortable. Oh yeah, I can buy. I can buy a Dreamcade replay, and I can play the games on it. Right. Right. Um, and we're not there yet, of course. Um, and even the first version will be friendly, but not that friendly enough, you know, for anybody. Right. And you seem to be, when I first came, you seem to be really excited about the social aspect of it. I mean, is that part of the grand scheme as well? Is this, like, big community and... Yeah, I mean, you should kind of look at Steam, and we haven't even right, figured yeah. out exactly what features we're moving in. But, yeah, I mean, it would, you know, like, it would be great in the long term. You know, oh, a new friend comes up, it pops up over on the side. You guys can change high scores. I mean, we, we looked at stuff at even encrypting the high score files, you know, to make it hard. Right. People are always going to find a way to cheat. But to make it harder, I, oh, I got it. Um, <laughs> make it harder for people to cheat. You're the blue one, you're dead. You're, you're, still, dead. you're still dead. You're still dead. <laughs> but that's it. If I wasn't nice, I would just let you go that's with right. that. Well, I thought I was the blue and yellow one. No, I know. They actually do look yeah, very alike. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was playing you a couple times there yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so what about your, I mean, you obviously had a passion for this. I mean, unless you are just making crazy dollars at 2002, <laughs> right? Right? Like, if you're doing this in your garage, yeah, it's because you enjoy doing it. Yeah. What, what kind of drew you into it? Well, I mean, I, when I was a kid, I was always fascinated by arcade games. I had a... a, a um, uh, you know, like a close family friend, and like I had a couple machines at places, and we go to, and then um, I, you know, got my own arcade, and I mean, even when my dad got Pong, I like took the thing apart, right, to figure out yeah. how it worked. So I've always been kind of like that. My first computer is a Commodore 64, which is why a Commodore 64 is oh, on nice. there. So did you buy that? Or your parents bought it. I bought it. I saved my wow. money and bought it, and then my parents felt so uh, sorry for me. Because it was like what six, seven hundred bucks? Yeah, no, it was only by the time I got it, it was like two or three fifty or whatever. Still, you can buy yeah, it. Yeah, five. To but here was the problem: it <laughs> didn't have any way to save your programs. Inflation. Right. So yeah, I couldn't exactly. even. I, I would write a program. I couldn't even save it. And yeah. then I'd be like, oh, God, don't turn it off. And so they yeah. felt so <laughs> sorry for me. They brought me the disk drive to go with it, oh, which nice. was as much as the unit as the unit was. Nice. Yeah. So that was kind of where it started. Even before that, though, with uh, the time at Sinclair. It had uh, 2K of memory or something, a 60K expansion slot. Wow. And I actually programmed that until it wouldn't take any more code. It just, I used up the entire, the entire memory. Wow. Which uh, sounds crazy, but it wasn't very, you know, 16K. Uh, right. And so, it, yeah, I, that's kind of, I mean, really old school gamer. And, you know, I would go over and help people fix arcades. And, oh, and, nice. Yeah, did but, you ever do that? So you did that for a living? You were kind no, of like, just, No, just oh. for, like, friends and stuff. You had a, oh, okay. Someone would Throwing be throwing out. away an arcade because it's broken. I take it and I fix it. I keep it for a while. I think, oh, I'll get another one. Yeah. So, yeah, I, we've done that. I mean, I've had probably a dozen. Oh, there you are, you're gambling. Yeah. <laughs> Dozen of our cage This is, the, this is online game. gambling, right? I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> Money. So we would but this would be cool at like a party. Yeah. You know, it's pretty passive. You don't need to know how to get into it. And just, yeah, and, and you could do something too where you have just your favorites under the favorites, all four player games, right? So, oh, you're gotcha. gonna, so then it could be like Bomberman and you know, all that other stuff. And you know, you could have them from different things, from different uh, consoles. Yeah. Um, stuff like that. So yeah, and, and the four player plat kit, and that's one that I, I know I was excited about. We're going to do like, um, you know, retro versions of a lot of classic games, like it won't be Frogger, but it'll be uh, similar to Frogger, sorry. No, it's okay. And you'll be playing maybe four people against each other. Or a Pac-Man style game, it's a, well, it's a little bit like Pac-Man Battle Royale, they already, they beat us to it, but you know, maybe where you're playing the ghost trying to get your buddy, you know? Ah, uh, I got Stuff you, I got like you. that. So we, yeah, so that one is, that one's hit, so we're going to uh, do a bunch of those, and so, I'm, I guarantee some of those won't be ready with the initial release just because we're pushing, but we're going to do as much as we can. Gotcha. And we've done a lot of stuff, and we're a smaller company, so we have some programmers we've worked with on you know, assignment jobs, or we go, we've worked with like how much would you charge to do this, and we can do a lot of that stuff through them. 
Yeah, and, gotcha. yeah so Matt and me and, and our other programmer don't have to program that stuff. We can focus on the core features. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, so you started talking that you grew up with all this stuff, and then I'm guessing you had a different day job for a while until 2002? Well, yeah. Um, uh, I worked, um, before that, I was working at Intel as a system engineer. Uh, I went through six rounds of layoffs in eight years. You survived. Yeah, and it was crazy. Yeah. Well, I was up, my head was on the chopping block at the time. But, I mean, there was one time when uh, I took Friday off to get married. And I came in Friday morning, and they'd handed everyone pink slips. Wow. And so I was like, I, I said. You just dodged it. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'm, not, I'm off today, and I just left. Yeah. And I didn't get, so I didn't get my pink slip until two weeks later. Um, but the funny thing was, Intel, the way it was worked is it was run by, you know, kind of uh, the guys who founded hit, uh, Intel, Moore and Gordon, these guys were hippies. So when they, when they had to lay you off, they would give you six months to find your job. They'd pay you six months. That's cool. Yeah, whether you find it at Intel or you found it outside. Sure. So when I did it, it was four months, and I actually found the job the day that my thing expired, my last day to find a job. So it was in the wow. morning, I went into Intel, I turned in my backpack, my laptop, my badge, and they went out. And yeah. then I waited in my car for like two hours, came back to do an interview. Oh, and the lady handed me my severance check. And yeah, yeah this is like a five-figure check, right? Because it's, nice. yeah. it's and yeah, she said if you cash years, yeah. yeah, if you cash this, your 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 termination is permanent. She so said, I know you have an interview this afternoon, so do not cash that check until you hear back. And if you do cash it, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. So I had to hold on the check and I had to go back in, I had to have a visitor badge, even though that morning I'd worked there. Yeah. They interviewed me, and I, it was like, I had to do like four rounds of interview, they pretty, you know, at Intel. Yeah. And then I had to wait like 24 hours before I found out of the job. I had to go back in, they had to back out all my, oh, wow. <laughs> it was crazy. Quite but it was stressful, you know? Yeah. And it wasn't the kind of thing, so I had a real good manager who knew I was doing this on the side. They had the time, you know, they're trying to cut, you know, this is, they're trying to cut, this is right after Y2K and everything starts slowing up. They're trying to cut people's expenses, so they let you take voluntary time off without pay. So during the Christmas, like we did 50% of our business in the six weeks of Christmas last year. Yeah. And usually we do 30, 35. But, um, so what I would do is I'd take all my vacation through for Christmas, and then I'd take a month off without pay, and I'd run the company. And then eventually after, I don't know, it was maybe 2006, doing it for two or three or four years, something like that, yeah. Michelle would know. Um, my manager came to me and said, you got to make a decision one or the other. Yeah. And there was just so many cuts and everything was so thin. I, I just, I was like, it's, now's the time to get out. Yeah, yeah. And it worked out pretty good. And then the same thing happened with Michelle. We worked at Krispy Kreme. She was working there for like three years after that. And they went, she got through three rounds of layoffs and uh, got, finally got laid off. And I was like, well, it's getting too much for me to answer the phones and stuff. Nice. Um, yeah, and I really... She was employee number one? She, well, she, I don't think so. She's employee number two. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I had a, a relative, and he was out of work, so he uh, would come. Okay. Yeah, and at the time, we were going to have the, our garage. Nice. So it got pretty... It was like the point where, where my tax guy said... I was like doing like 45% of my house as, as work. My tax oh, wow. guy said, you can't do that. The IRS is going to audit yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And so I had to take pictures of like... The hallway is being used for arcades. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, the dining room is being used for arcades. Yeah. The entire garage, there's no cars parked in here yeah, yeah, in yeah. case we got audited because we were literally using so much of the house. Wow. So it just kind of grew out of kind of that nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's, and this is, this is a basically, yeah, it's a huge step for us and hopefully, you know, yeah. it, will, it will be something that takes off that, you know, anyone can, because you really the, the problem is people like don't know about these games they don't know where to get them sure are they sure, getting sure. them from you know bad sites a lot of these sites you know you go to download a game yeah there's have, so much adware yeah adware, adware will try to get you installed to install an installer right, which has slow. yeah <laughs> or there'll be uh there'll be you know pictures of women and you know hardly sure, anything. Sure, sure. yeah they aren't family safe yeah and that's kind of what we're doing with the search and that's why we're like we're limiting the sites Atari Age, yeah. Um, yeah, obviously the Internet Archive is a big one. There's a bunch of different sites like c64.com and those right, would be right, the right. sites where you where, where it's searched. So when you search for a game, you'll only probably find five or six links. But yeah. you know if you click on any of those links, you're not going to get, you know, I mean, I can't yeah. guarantee it, but we've done everything we can, and we'll even probably check them on a, on a once-a-day basis. Yeah. Um, do you think more people are buying these for themselves because they grew up with these games? Or do you think they're buying them to give to their, their siblings to say, like, hey, I grew up with this, these are really cool, you should check them out? Or do you think there actually is, like, 
young kids who are discovering, like when you discover old music, right? Like if, yeah. I was, if a millennial was to discover Pink Floyd today, something like that. <laughs> I think with the arcades particularly, we, I get a lot of people, you know, who are like, I'm redoing my game room, They're, you know, and, and it's not just men, right? It's yeah. it's men and women, and they just, they in that case, they well, want to share it. Just so you know, my YouTube channel, I have 4% of my viewership is women. 96% yeah. Yeah. men. <laughs> but you know what, but during, during Christmas? No, I bet a yeah. lot of the moms and things it like that. It then becomes 50-50. Fifty percent right. of our customers during Christmas are women. Yeah. yeah, and now so a lot of them are buying them as gifts for their husbands or yeah, yeah their but, man cave. Yeah, the yeah. man cave. Yeah, <laughs> but but you know that's and and so there's a lot more than I think people think. And then but uh, the thing is, so for the big arcades, I think a lot of people are buying them to share with their kids. Yeah. Or to relive their childhoods. Um, something like this. I think right now. A huge part of us are, you know, the geeks and the people. Yeah, the tinkers. Who, yeah, the tinkers. Like, yeah, yeah that's right. and, and that's great because that's kind of why we were like, hey, what's sell version without a controller? Because yeah. I don't want, you know, the mother of three buying that because she's just going to have trouble, right? Yeah, she um, sees the price, but she doesn't realize. Yeah, you know. Yeah, she and, and we've tried to make it. Yeah, I mean, in the videos, remember, it's it's that the, the bring your own art. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's for the it. expert, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and so everyone else start with at least one controller. Sure. Um. So yeah, that's kind of where where we went with that um, so yeah right now I think uh, the vast majority of the replay customers are people who own these games and are, are interested in replaying right. them yeah and so now out of yours because you obviously got into this because you grew up with them and things like that how much of your time do you actually spend sitting down and playing a game uh, I, yeah I don't <laughs> not at all yeah, yeah hardly at all yeah I when and when I and when I do it's usually in the garage I've got one dream arcade and then I've got like the three three others and I, you know, this one will go in there eventually. It's not finished. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I, or the uh, the Star Wars arcade stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I, it doesn't. It usually what happens here with these guys is you start playing, yeah. but you know you can't just sit there and play the game. You're no, just, you can get through so, level one. Yeah, and, you and then you have leave. to start over. Yeah. So that's the kind of that's the sucky thing about it. Yeah, you can't get into an RPG. But, or something but one like thing that. we did do at Intel a lot was. Um, uh, team builders, yeah. yeah. So we at least, and we used to try to do it more often, but at least once a quarter, we will, you know, bring in food or barbecue, and we'll take two hours off. Everyone gets paid to play video games. Yeah. And a lot of times we're playing fighting games, four-player games, but the consoles always come in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Old consoles, people bring in their N64 and their GameCube, and nice. nice. My Switch. <laughs> I'm still Nintendo Switch. Yeah, the yeah. Switch last time. Yeah. 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 Um, so I guess last question for this part, it would just be, um, so all, out of all the perks that happen so far, can we just go down them really quick? What exactly are they getting? So that we I talked about the themes already. That. Every 10,000, you get a, a new theme. And so. we have a bunch of artists we've worked with, so. Yeah. Custom themes, basically, they'll come pre-installed. You'll hit a button or combo buttons, and you'll be able to cycle through them. Um, uh, let's see, yeah, the custom theme or custom theme creation tool. It's basically, it, it, you could create your own theme and then edit the files, but this is going to get you the ability to change the colors and the box, the sizes of the box, put a different oh, image cool. in. Yeah, so you'll be able to, as much as we can, squeeze into that, you'll be able to use it. There may even be an advanced mode, too, for people who want to do other things. But, um, yeah, so that will be, so people create their own themes. Then, like I say, with the community aspect, um, as long as, you know, they want to, they can share that. And you know we're not sure exactly will this be you know will people vote on it will it be how will we not we don't have that laid out yet how sure. it will be um, but it will at least be a library where people can upload those um, let's see yeah free casino and slot packs you actually started playing those games yeah so those are um, basically just, uh, a lot of people like to play blackjack and um, slots or yeah whatever. slots um, and those games are a lot more popular than people think on the on the arcades sure um, let's see customized decals. Yeah, so depending on how we finish it, it's probably going to be for the front uh, uh, okay. because there's not that much, yeah, not that much room. So, for so the there'll front. be, yeah, there'll be a special sticker that's like will show that you're one of the Kickstarter backers, like a badge. Ah, uh, gotcha. Um, we're doing going to do a pink camo, regular camo, one that looks like stainless steel, so stuff like that. Gotcha. And those will actually, uh, with any luck, you'll be able to take them off and put them back on. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, that's what the plan is to make them interchangeable. Uh, free sports packs. So, what are some of the popular games for that one? Um, uh, pool, uh, uh, like billiards and um, bowling. Bowling, for some reason, is a really popular uh, add-on. I play it on the Wii still. Yeah, so yeah. there'll be <laughs> the ga games like that. Um, advanced theme integration. 
That one's interesting because Matt's working with the Steam SDK. I don't remember what I said it was going to have as a minimum. It's, it's in one of the announcements. But I mean, at a minimum, you, you'll be able to get your friends list and you'll be able to put it in big picture mode. You'll be able to access it right from the... the and then there'll be other stuff too. We're not, we're basically working on with the SDK, whatever we can get. So that one we're still taking feedback on too. If people want to see a particular feature, let us know. And there's a lot of stuff you can do with SDK. Just the question is how much programming... What's the best way to get in touch with you guys? So the best way to do it is uh, like a lot of people are like, yeah, oh, you know, I put on YouTube and not get an answer or we actually don't even have you comments on most of our YouTube videos. Yeah. We have so many channels. So probably right on here, for now, the Kickstarter. When the Kickstarter closes, um, either uh, you can do Facebook, Twitter, or, or contact us directly at Cells. Gotcha. Um, I'm sure we'll do another email. Right now, everything's set for cells at dreamcade.com. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but really, while it's going, this is probably the best, the Kickstarter's probably the best place. And after that, social media. Um, let's see. Um, Online community features. Yeah, so yeah, that's going to be the thing, um, you know, besides just having message boards and stuff, um, we want to be able to, people to be able to do like top 10 games that are being downloaded or top 20 or people maybe even that are downloaded that are being played or that people vote on. Um, what are some of the things even listed? There's probably on there. Yeah, badges. Like you know, if you're uh, you have the high score for a particular game, you'll get a badge. Maybe because yeah. we have to encrypt the high scores. Sure, sure, uh, sure. Uh, but there'll be stuff for that, or maybe anyone who gets to a certain level on a game, someone who helps out in the community, someone who's an original backer will get a special badge. Um, yeah, groups. So there's subgroups just for you. Chat. So you know you can go offline and just chat with a buddy or whatever. Nice. Or uh, hopefully they'll have so you can have a whole chat room and you. Could, you know, if you guys are playing the game together, that kind of stuff. Um, Four-player game packs, I talked about that one a little bit. Um, you know, it would be really cool to be able to play the ghost chasing Miss pa you know, chasing Pac-Man. Um, of course, it won't be Pac-Man, but it'll be something similar. Same thing in a Frogger. Um, you know, different classic theme games uh, that are clones. Ah, I so, gotcha. yeah, but the four people can play at once. We do have a four player version of Pong, oh, and, cool. yeah, which is pretty cool because one person plays here, 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 and then there's like some special features where you can spin off an extra ball. Oh, so, cool. if this guy's over here dodging and you're over here, you can, you know, um, you can knock him out of the game with your uh, spinning your extra ball and stuff like that. Um, like and support. And we did talk a little bit about that. Uh, probably aim track to begin with, um, and then we have done work on our own light gun that doesn't require you know anything but a couple stickers. And the nice thing about those those kind of reflective stickers um, is the real high visibility. You can just buy them on Amazon, so you don't even necessarily have to get them from us. And it would be a lot easier to use. You wouldn't have to have a wire running all the way behind the TV gotcha. uh, like you do with a Wii or an aim track. Um, mystery mystery goal. goal. All right. So the, <laughs> the reason there's a mystery goal is we have goals like over a million, and I don't know what our mystery goal is going to be. To be honest, uh, yeah. So, so 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 we're like, which one should we make the the you know that goal? Um, if we get to 250, I don't think we're going to get there. We're probably going. I mean, the light gun support looks like it's you know attainable, but um, yeah. So we we have all kinds of goals on the list. Yeah. We just aren't sure which one we think people would you know. It's got to be a, a thing of how much time and, you know, is it something they add on or something they get automatically? Because it's definitely people like the, you know, like, like and Google's cool, but it requires a separate purchase. Right, right. Um, so, yeah, so, so to be honest, I have a whole list of upgrades. I just haven't finished the, figured out which one will be 250. Sure. Yeah, so it's a mystery to me, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. We're debating. Yeah, yeah, we're debating. yeah, yeah. exactly. Cool. But only a couple more days, right? So it'll yeah, be there. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. kind of the problem. Yeah. It's going to end, I think, Monday at like yeah. noon or 11. I'm not even sure the hour yet. I have to figure that out and post yeah. some updates so everyone knows. Nice. Yeah. And are you, is this, what were your, when you first came into this, like, blind, what did you think it was going to get fun? Like, what was your thinking? Um, you know, I have, we, we were just, we didn't really know because I, I had, like, I personally known people than half a million, over half a million. One of our customers at 1.3 million, wow. and then I've known people who and ours like didn't even get funded the first time. Right. So fortunately, you know, you know about the Thunderdome show. No, I haven't seen that. Steve Harvey. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So we were at Steve Harvey's uh, Thunderdome, and we won. I saw that on your Twitter. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. So we could, we started off with a chunk of money, and we were able to say, okay, instead of setting the goal at 85, let's set the goal at 30. So we were able to say we can do this project. For less, yeah. Um, but really, to do everything you know we want and to be able to do all the customization, um, you know, it requires thousands of backers. So yeah. um, we're actually getting really close to that point, 
and probably before we actually sell it, we will do like a pre-release thing where, because uh, it's kind of, you know, it will be like, it won't be, it will not be, we will probably do that, depending on timing. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, if, if you weren't really sure, but now that it is funded, when you thought about it in your head before you got into this point, when you first started, mm -hmm. if you thought it was going to be funded, what number do you think it was going to stop at? What I, kind of your... I don't know. Yeah, kinda... I did, it was, yeah, I, I, I mean, I hate to not answer you, but I just, yeah. we just didn't know. Um, do you think in millions though, or you no, think a quarter no, million? No, yeah, I mean we yeah. put goals up to a million, you know. Okay. Yeah. So at least so, you had that. Yeah. You had that in case, you yeah. Were thinking it could it, go. Yeah, that because thing. like I say, one of our customers here, you know, for who bought a Dream Arcades. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, he they had a, over a million dollars for his, you know, bed cooling sheet. So you just never know. <laughs> and I think wow. there's a lot more skepticism. So we kind of went into it knowing that. Yeah. yeah people are going to be a lot more skeptical. We got to have these prototype units, even if they don't have all the features. Yeah. This is normally if you know a reviewer didn't get this one then this would be the one that they would get that we've gotcha clean up a little we rip off the plastic so course. this is basically this with the sticker yeah, on top this is with the sticker okay and it just shows a picture of the thing this is actual like a demo model of what the final version would look like oh so it would look more like this yeah because oh, okay. yeah you know it's like this is just a custom made case for that computer Whereas that's the full actual prototype 3D model. Gotcha. Yeah, and the bottom is just because we didn't finish it. Yeah. And then um, this comes up. Oh, this is a yeah, prototype. Yeah, because it's all so. demo prototypes. So technically you can just pull things off um, just so we can figure out dimensions and things, make sure yeah. everything lines up. Right. Um, it actually there, does have a computer. Yeah, there is there. a board in there. It's an early prototype from last mm -hmm. year. Or not from last year, from the first six time. It's a little mm -hmm. over last year. Gotcha. And so this one was a, was a beta unit? Yeah, this is basically what we sent out to people who we didn't have enough of these to go around. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. is, is this what, why? People think it's the Vorke, yeah. Oh, because there's actually this, a computer this, called the Vorke. Yeah, uh, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Some people were like, hey, that's a Vorke. And be clear that, you know, the, the main thing, difference with the, it's the same speed, but the Vorke has a lot of you can a lot of components that you can. That, well, is that screwed on? It might have the screw in it. Yeah, yeah there may be a screw. Oh no, it might be attached. Um, yeah, the, the Vorke has a. Um, Does this come out? Yeah, you can I get can it. Check and see if yeah screws off, and then it, it should normally turn. should pop ah, out. Okay. So yeah, so like this computer has the larger kind of laptop size safe. And you could put a, a yeah. hard drive in there. But well, we plan actually on doing uh, the smaller one for the M2. Gotcha. Yeah. So, and then this is going to make it smaller as well. Yeah, it should be a little smaller. And the yep. dimensions might change a bit, but I mean, even you see like the prototype board we have in there. Did you just kind of show them that? Yeah, I Look how much uh, smaller it is in the unit. Ah, so. uh, gotcha. Yeah. So, the um, yeah, the the one thing we do have to like make sure is that there's lots of air holes because it really want to keep the cooling down. Because like I say, people are going to expect it to run in turbo mode for hours. Right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And on this one, if you open... Yeah, because where is the cool? It's just down on the bottom? No, not on this one. On Next it will be right oh, here. And you can see, oh, you can see top. fan gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. so it will suck in from the bottom as well. And th these would probably be bigger. Um, gotcha, gotcha. So there's little yeah. holes in there. Yeah, there are air holes in there. They're hard to see. Yeah. And on the, yeah, the bottom and then... Um, Probably don't put it on a fuzzy carpet or something like that, you know? Oh, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, they're feet, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, so of course, you can see, you know, like anything, those things pull off. Yeah. And we want to make it, too, so people can open up the vice, you don't void your warranty, anything like that. Right. I mean, if it's a, something that, you know, you've been we're trying, if it's obvious that you tried to solder more memory on there, right, you void yeah. your warranty. But for the most part, we don't want to make, you know, we want it to be open so people sure. can do whatever the heck they want with it. Nice. That looks cool. And it'll have your logo, your logo will be on it. Yeah, somewhere, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I mean, it, it may end up being on the sticker, but I think here, because we're doing the free, you know, the things people can swap out, we'll probably have that for, like, original backer or something. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah.